Morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Thursday morning. So glad you're able to join Tom and I as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. <clears throat> o Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light, in our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm today, oh, give glory to God, our light, and our life. Oh, come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is 116. Good thing Tom is here. It keeps me straight. Sometimes. Sometimes. Psalm 116, I love the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication, because he has inclined his ear to me whenever I called upon him. The cords of death entangled me, the grip of the grave took hold of me, I came to grief and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord, O Lord, I pray you, save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous, our God is full of compassion. The Lord watches over the innocent, I was brought very low and he helped me. Turn again to your rest, O my soul, for the Lord has treated you well. For you have rescued my life from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. I believed even when I said I have been brought very low. In my distress I said no one can be trusted. How shall I repay the Lord for all the good things he has done for me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord in the death of his servants. O oh Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant and the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O oh Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Let us pray. God of power and mercy, through the passion and resurrection of your Son, you have freed us from the bonds of death and the anguish of separation from you. Be with us on our pilgrimage and help us offer your sacrifice of praise. Fulfill our vows and glorify you in the presence of all your people. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, our reading today on this Thursday now turns to Nehemiah okay, in the first chapter, beginning with verse 1. The words of Nehemiah, the son of Hekela, said, Now it happens in the, in the month of of Chislev uh, in the twelfth year, as I was in Susa, the capital, that Han Hananiah, one of my brethren, came with certain men out of Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that survived who has escaped exile and concerning Jerusalem. And they said to me, the survivors there in the province who escaped exile are in great trouble and shame. The wall of Jerusalem is broken down and its gates are destroyed by fire. When I heard these words, I sat down and wept and mourned for the days, and I continued fasting and praying before the God of heaven. And I said, O Lord, God of heaven, the great and terrible God, who keeps covenants and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments, let thy ear be attentive and thy eyes open to hear the prayers of thy servants, which I now pray before thee day and night for the people of Israel, thy servants, confessing the sins of the people of Israel, which we have sinned against thee. Yea, I and my father's house have sinned. We have acted very corruptly against thee and have not kept the commandments, the statutes, and the ordinances which thou didst command thy servant Moses. Remember the word which thou didst command thy servant Moses, saying, If you are faithful, I will scatter you among the peoples. But if you return to me and keep my commandments and do them, Though you dispersed and be under the, the farthest skies, I will gather them thence and bring them to the place which I have chosen to make my name dwell there. They are thy servants and thy people whom thou hast redeemed by the great power and by thy strong hand. 
O Lord, let thy ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant, and to the prayer of thy servant who delight to fear thy name, and give success to the servant day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man. Now I am a cupbearer to the king. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be you. to God. Our second reading comes from Revelation, the fifth chapter, beginning oh, with verse 11. Then I looked and I heard around the throne and the living creatures and the elders, the voice of many angels, num uh, numbering myriads and myriads and thousands and thousands, saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all therein say, To him who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. And the four living creatures said, Amen. And the elders fell down and worshipped. Now I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seven seals and I heard one of the four living creatures say, As with a voice of thunder, Come! And I saw and behold a white horse and its rider had a bow. And a crown was given to him, and he went out conquering and to conquer. When he opened the second seal, I heard the se a second living creature say, Come! And out came another horse, bright red. Its rider was permitted to take peace from the earth so that men should slay one another. And he was given a great sword. When he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, Come! And I saw and behold a black horse, and its rider had a balance in his hand, and I heard what seemed to be a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, A quart of wheat for a dinars, and three quarts of barley for a dinars, but do not harm uh, do but do not harm oil and wine. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature say, Come, and I saw and behold a pale horse, and its rider name was Death, and Hades followed him. And they were given power over the fourth of the earth to kill with sword and with famine and with pestilence and by wild beasts of the earth. When he opened up the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain from the word of God and for the witness they had borne. They cried out with a loud voice, O sovereign Lord, holy and true, how long before thou wilt judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on, upon the earth? Then they were each given a white robe and told to rest a little longer until the number of, the, uh, of their fellow servants and their brethren should be complete, who were to be killed as they themselves had been. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. And our hope the Holy Gospel comes from Matthew, the 13th chapter, beginning with verse 18. Glory to you, O Lord. Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what is sown in the heart. That is what was sown along the path. And as for what was sown on rocky ground, this is he who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no root in himself, but endures for a while. And when tribulation or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately he falls away. As for what was sown among the thorns, this is he who hears the word, but the cares of the world and, and the delight of riches and choke the word and is proved unfruitful. As for what is sown on good soil, this is he who hears the word and understands it. He indeed bears fruit and yields in one case a hundredfold, in another sixty, and in another thirty. The gospel of our Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for them a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins, 
In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Father of life and love and all beauty and goodness, fill my heart with a radiance that came that can come only from thee. Make me to see and appreciate in others this quality of thy goodness, so that in turn I may be touched by that by the divine flame of love. May it flow through me to others, so that they in turn may be blessed by my passing. For Jesus' sake. Amen. amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of thy purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Oh, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Thursday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day and that I'll see you tomorrow as well. God bless you. Bye-bye.